Jim, I can't let that that clip go by without talking about the face paint. What can you tell us about that whole thing? Well, uh, I'm not sure. I think it was my idea to go along with it. I, you know, I don't want to take credit if it's not for sure, but I believe, you know, the American flag, that's just Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I'm in there with the demolition all painted up. I thought it'd be kind of cool and kind of patriotic to, to paint the face up. And it worked out. They they made an action figure with that. And I wish I'd known that. I would have painted my face different every other week. Holy smokes. <laughs> I got I got a new action figure out of it. But uh, it was cool. And I had a mask on. We're all out there. We pulled the mask off and got a little, we got what you'd call a cheap pop, you know. Yeah. Pretty much 80% of my pops. <laughs> <laughs> long as you're popping brother it's one of those moments that fans still talk about today and how cool it was and like you said you got t-shirts and action figures out of it matt cardona and his group the major wrestling guys they made the big rubber guy of it and uh yep they've got the crown with it you got the painted face it's just such a cool uh cool i don't need more gimmicks i'm lucky i didn't have the eagle <laughs> well, hey, you could have got another action figure out of the eagle, probably. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you remember who painted your face? I think Barry helped me with it. I was going to say Barry that. Pretty yeah. Intricate. Smash, yeah. right? Action Smash. Yeah, yes. I, I didn't know Barry. I, I worked with him down in Mid South a lot as Crusher Khrushchev. Uh, nice, really good guy. Uh, one of the success stories in our business, one of the guys to be proud of in our business, both Bill and Barry. And uh, yeah, I worked with Barry. Uh, actually, he's the one that hit me in the throat and with a coal miner's glove. That's right, 1984. Uh, five Man, years before that, I bit the rubber full of blood. It was, it, it was pretty gruesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> they had to block it out. I on never imagined like, that. You know, hey, okay, we want you to take, take this syringe here, Duggan, and you know everybody else says, well, "Let me help you. I'll get it for you." <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get this blood out of your arm. I'm like, don't push no air in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Backstage, you get blood out of there, put it in a rubber prophylactic. Excuse me. There you go. Can <laughs> and, you imagine and it, give it to the referee and he slipped it in my mouth or I slipped it in my eyes, but it was uh it got the point across. There is no other line of work. Uh, I don't care what sport it is. I don't care if it's Hollywood. <laughs> Nobody else is putting their own blood into a uh, prophylactic and then burning <laughs> <laughs> go, go up to Mahomes. Hey, uh, Mahomes, brother, in the fourth quarter, here's a little blade. Get some juice. We'll get the crowd really excited. We'll, we'll drive down in the fourth quarter. You bleed. How's that? Imagine the pop, though, if he bit a rubber. Yeah, imagine the pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man wrestling neither fish nor fowl dude nothing like it man it's uh it has been a, like i said it's a great business i mean everybody hears the dark side of the ring and they hear the horror stories Barry dark show is a positive deal me and deb have been together forever i mean there's success stories in our business tito santana i mean you just always hear the uh the the, the uh, guys that can't handle it well have trouble with it it's amazing, you know, a, a lot of the guys that were able to keep their relationships going uh, and stay married all these years. I know that Darso is one of them. Arn Anderson sticks out. Ted DiBiase and his wife have made it work. It's like, it's, now, it's incredible. Yeah, we've known uh, They've been married. Uh, Bischoff, uh, Sonny Ono, Ernest the Cat Miller, Jerry yeah. Sag, the Nasty Boys, Knobs of the Nasty. I mean, yeah, but everybody knows Scott Hall and the uh, crazy stuff, you know? Yep. Yep. It's, uh, you know, everybody wants to talk about the bad part of it, but really it's a lot of you guys made a great living on it and are, are still, uh, Here enjoying 70 years old. I travel the world signing autographs and taking pictures with people. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's yeah. like, we thought you'd be a lot thinner. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> buy my pictures. Right? <laughs> but what's well, tough did... is comic cons when somebody comes by, then they're like, you want me to buy a picture of you? <laughs> they don't have any talk to the handler yeah really is, is that deborah she's the she's the oh no she's out uh, are you kidding she uh, she's with the uh, the chips guys from the old uh, tv show <laughs> Eric i got all that picture of bonzo or whatever i'm like yeah you sure do one yeah <laughs> he works for tsa the way he was checking you out <laughs> 
<laughs> he's gonna get to meet the old hacksaw. Yeah, if he keeps he that likes. Up. He likes to uh, go out and uh, socialize and meet everybody. Uh, yeah, and then she's and Hogan. Hogan even called her one of the boys. She's been around the boys so much. So, because as you know, when you're at a comic con, you're sitting, you're working, you don't get to see everybody. Deborah's yeah. kind of my uh, emissary. She goes around, says hello to everybody, and then she, you know, the uh, uh, William Shatner. We're at the Comic Con of Shatner sitting over there in the green room, and Deborah's like, "I'm going to go talk to William Shatner." Like, Don't bother the man; he's got a bad reputation. The green room, give him a break. No, I'm going to go talk to him. Maybe she goes over. A couple of minutes, she's sitting down. Come on over, Jim. Meet William Shatner. I'm like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I went over and uh, visited with him. He was okay, you know. Of course, I went over and was like, get away from me. <laughs> I was like, oh, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I was going to say, you're, the not gimmick, a, you know? you're not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a Shatner fan but, at all? Pardon? Were you a fan of, like, Star Trek or any of his work at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, not a big fan, but I enjoyed growing up, enjoyed Star Trek. I, who I was real happy to see was Barbara Eden. Uh, um, very, I'll bet. Barbara, I thought a lot about you when I was 14. <laughs> I got a really good grip. <laughs> she got you through puberty. But, but I know what I was happy about when I walked in and Henry, I, I'm like, Henry Winkler. He's like Hacksaw Duggan. I'm like. All right. All right. That's when you know you made it when the Fonz recognized The Fonz knows who you are. Yeah, I was happy with that one. Man, that's great. And this episode was great. It's awesome to look back at uh, at this period in the WWF. It really is the golden era of professional wrestling during this time. And all the all the great talents that we get to talk about. Uh, Look at the guys in that ring just then. Andre, a boss man, a one man gang. I bet they had that ring re re reinforced. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of meat running around in that ring up there, man. But that's that mean, yeah, what's up? But a lot of classic tale. Man, gang, I guess they'll never put him in the Hall of Fame for some. He was in a loss. And Bill uh, Bill and Barry also, I believe. Oh, yeah, they are. All three should be in the Hall of Fame. Absolutely. It's crazy a demolition yeah. in there yet. Yeah. Uh, same thing with Gang, really. I mean, what a what a great career that that man had, not just in the WWF, but elsewhere. So hopefully the. I think they were involved in some kind of lawsuit or something with Vince. I know the demolition. Yeah. The demolition had an issue with Vince, and that's probably it. But Vince is gone, so who knows? Maybe next year things will get cleaned Never up. Know. They might bring me back. Uh, so you should get a second Hall of Fame okay. induction as King Duggan. Oh, I'm talking about working, brother. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Jim, is there any amount of money that they could pay you to have one more match right now? Oh, shit. I just saw one of the Funks had a, a match. Did you see that? Yes, Dory. Yeah, yeah 83 or something, and Fireball death match or some of uh, true to, <laughs> true to advertising. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. You know, I, I I I think it's bad for the fans for something like that, you know. But if Hogan wants to have a Walker match, first one to make it to the ring. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you want to come out and hit somebody with a two by four, that's one thing. But man, yeah. they can bump but, in a death match. My goodness. Yeah, what was it just a couple of years ago on Jericho's cruise? I ran down and whacked one of the young guys with a two by four. And, uh, yes. So, yes. yeah, it's two by four still works. Doesn't matter if you're seven or 70. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to swing that thing. So, so that's good. I, I, you're right talking about my we, two by four. Well, of course, I mean, it can be both things. You can still swing. Yeah, both. Not at this point, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and actually, right before I talked to you, Jim, I was talking to Len Denton. We had him on uh, Ooh, Snake Pit. Yeah, the grappler. And uh, he's got a match coming up here. Does he's he? Still, well, he's how still old wrestling. is Len? I, I don't know. He, he's like Ricky Morton. I saw Ricky. I'm like, we're just talking about well, Rick. How old are you now? He's like, oh. Yeah, brother, they got Google, man. And <laughs> yeah, I can still look it still up. Visiting with you, man. Yeah, I said, Claire and Hogan call me kid. <laughs> I want to say the lens is like mid 60s, 65, 68. Oh, yeah, there. I was in the ring at uh, 64. Yeah, I was still in the ring. Yeah, people hey, go, Hacksaw, you still wrestle? I said, No, I still go to the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it wrestling. I don't but then I would tell the out. young guys that uh, at 60 plus, I had no physical attributes left, but I could still entertain a crowd. It's more, as we talked many times, than taking bumps. Yep. You were a character, and that's what's important. So was the grappler, and uh, so was so was Dory Funk, a hell of a character going over there with that death match. 